Today we're launching the beta app that's going to enable a firmware update and Zwift steering. And what this will allow you to do is it's actually going to allow you to switch between the two modes. So right now as a beta, it's only available as an APK file for Android devices. And we certainly know that there is a lot of users out there that are on iOS. Unfortunately, Apple does not allow the side loading of apps some people may not be comfortable doing that, and that's okay. Eventually, we are going to get these apps into the app stores. They're fairly simple apps, so we don't anticipate a lot of problems, but we're trying to polish them and refine them and make sure that they work in all cases. So that's going to take us a little while. But if you want to be an early adopter and you happen to have any old Android device, I believe about Android 5 or newer, um, you should be able to load this onto the Commander. So. A little bit about how this update works though is kind of necessary. When we launched this, we had an automatic fallover system. So this kind of facilitates a very simple indoor outdoor experience. When you come inside and if it detects your computer and it connects, then it assumes that you're probably going to want to use this with some sort of app like Zwift, Peloton, Netflix, whatever. So it uses that connection, but it then turns off the cycle computer controllability. And this, is partially to save power, but also because it, it means that there's less confusion on what is this thing doing. As soon as it recognizes it's disconnected, it'll take a couple of seconds, but it'll switch over to the cycle computer control mode on a private ant system. Now that enables us to control cycle computers, a, a, a huge variety of them actually. So we can control Wahoo, Hammerhead, a huge number of the Garmin cycle computers, and a few of the Lazine cycle computers, although that one has not been tested. However, once you install the new app via your Android device, you'll first have to update the firmware, but then you'll be able to who switch modes. And when you switch modes, the device will restart its advertising and no longer advertise as S Commander, but Stereo, as in kind of the hacky project I, I made. So it, it was just kind of a nice name that kind of fit with the steering motif. So it'll advertise as Stereo. But these actually have different IDs. So your computer, even if it was paired for S Commander, will no longer automatically connect to stereo in that mode. And this is to facilitate easier use. Now the steering, not having to rely on any kind of implementation of keyboard controls, that will work on tablets, phones, Apple TV, um, and as well, a computer that is Bluetooth enabled. So if stereo is not connected, the private ANT connection for the cycle computer is available. As soon as steering is connected though, this will turn off and you'll no longer be able to control your cycle computer, but you will be able to control your steering. And that works by holding left or right, kind of ramps up the steer amount and ramps it back down. So the longer you hold the button, the more steering it will until it'll max out at like 32 degrees. Once you've installed the APK file, you open it up, Make sure your commander is on, search for it, it should pop up and you connect to it. Now, the first thing we need to do is at the very bottom, update the firmware. And this will take a, maybe a minute or so. It'll have to reboot the commander and then reconnect to it in the DFU mode and transfer the new firmware and then reboot. You should see a triple flash red again. And then when it does that, you can reconnect to it. And now you can select which mode. So it defaults to the S commander mode. I'm just gonna press that button now and now we are switching to the steering mode. You have to disconnect first in order for this to happen. And a great way to check is that it should triple flash the red LED after you disconnect. And if you do a search again, it should no longer advertise as S Commander. It should advertise as Stereo. Just a quick note here that some Android devices are noting a bit of a bonding issue is that when you connect with the app the first time, it bonds to it. So it loads everything correctly. You hit the button, do your firmware update. And then when you X out, cause it says disconnect it, search for it again and connect. It now says something like a version is ridiculous. So you need to go into your Bluetooth, go down, select the oldest commander that was in here and just forget it. 
Once you've done that, you can go back in, it'll ask to pair and connect, you can hit cancel, and now things are populating. So if you see the battery level changing, so now you should be able to switch, and then it'll change, and after it populates, you can switch back. Once you're in stereo mode, you should be able to connect to Zwift on your tablet, PC, Apple device, companion app, anything in order to control the steering in Zwift. Now keep in mind, it will not work as a keyboard. Even the jacks don't do anything in um, the steering mode right now. In the cycle computer controlling mode, the jacks still function. Um, now we have not released any way of using the jacks, but if you're savvy and you want to get an MMCX plug and plug it in there, you can figure it out. We're going to pair it and you can see it shows up on screen just like any other steering device from a lead or wahoo and now you can click on it connect to it and it will activate press the left or right buttons you should be able to see it steers left or right the longer you will hold the button the more it steers until it peaks out at i think 30 32 degrees now when riding you can see that as I hold left and right, you can see that I'm steering left and right as I hold the buttons left and right. Now keep in mind, I did accidentally have the buttons flipped in the software at this point. This was an earlier video we took. We've since fixed that. So left is now left, right is now right. This so you can use this for any of the type steering in Zwift. One of the things you can now do with, with um, any of these steering devices is Repack Ridge. So I went to Repack Ridge and actually this is probably my worst run, but yeah, you can keep kind of feathering your angles by, by pressing, um, uh, kind of clicking the buttons. And that's what I did. And surprisingly, when I've done this on Repack Ridge, I've been able to actually get very close to the same number of stars I do with an actual steer. So in fact, uh, the first Steerzo runs I ever did, I actually did better with the stereo or the commander in stereo mode rather than using the Steerzo. And, and a lot of that actually had to do with um, my Steerzo is walking, moving back and forth, whereas the, the commander is actually a bit more predictable. So mine was sliding up, could slide on the floor and it would cause steering offsets and annoying things like that. So yeah, um, if you're an early adopter, we, we do have a recovery method. It was outlined in the basic instructions video. You hold both of the buttons and we will provide you with a uh, firmware that can revert it back to its original. You shouldn't need to do that because even if you update it, if you don't use the steering mode, it'll perform exactly the same. There's very little changes in code on the commander side right now. Um, it's all, been towards implementing the steering with Swift. So with that, happy steering.